jihadist insurgency have been furiously raging in Mozambique since 2017 when armed militants staged their first attack in the northern Cabo Delgado province. More than half a million persons have fled their homes. In the beginning of this year, UN officials warned the humanitarian crisis would worsen without international help. We now join correspondent Yunisa in Jamela, who is at a refugee camp in northern Cabo Delgado, where people say their lives have been turned upside down. The province of Cabo Delgado in northern Mozambique has been under continuous violent attacks allegedly by terrorists. According to the United Nations, the violence there is continuing to escalate. UN AIDS Executive Director Uini Bianima spent four days in the strife-torn province of Mozambique. She was on a mission to assess the plight of displaced people and host communities in the conflict-affected Cabo Delgado province. Many services are now weakened by attention now being given to a humanitarian crisis. Over 750,000 people have been displaced. That is a huge crisis. So first, there is that situation that needs attention. And then secondly, there is COVID, which has drawn away some of the services for health, not only for HIV, but even for TB and other diseases. So definitely, Mozambique is a country that needs support. UNAIDS is a United Nations organization leading the global fight against HIV and AIDS. The executive director warned that if not brought under control, the humanitarian concerns are likely to impact on neighboring countries. It's not just a problem in Mozambique. Many countries are also facing these kinds of attacks, especially as they try to develop their natural resources the United Nations continues to be on the ground, assisting with humanitarian needs. The United Nations has mobilized food for those who are displaced. We are also on various fronts supporting with medicines, with, with um, water and sanitation and so on. But ultimately, the solution lies in ending the conflict and people being able to return to their homes, to their farms, to live their lives in peace. Two weeks ago, South Africa sent troops to northern Mozambique to help secure and repatriate stranded nationals there.